Hello everybody and welcome to this macroeconomic video on propensities in macroeconomics. And we have four propensities. We have our average propensity to consume, marginal propensity to consume, average propensity to save and marginal propensity to save. So firstly, our average propensity to consume or APC. And our average propensity to consume measures how much of total income, so how much of all the money individuals and families are getting in, will be spent on consuming goods. So our APC shows how much of total income will be spent on consuming goods. And we can work it out mathematically using the formula APC, so average propensity cons to consume, equals C, consumption, divided by I, income. So C, consumption, the amount we spend, and I, income, the amount we're getting in. And our APC number represents a percentage number. So for example, if our APC were to be 0 0.7, if I worked out my consumption and, in and income and put them into the formula and, I, and my number was 0 0.7, this would represent that 70% of my income is being spent on consuming goods. Next, we have our MPC, or our marginal propensity to consume. And this is very similar to APC, but works in terms of extra income. So our marginal propensity to consume shows how much extra income will be spent on consuming goods. So how much of our extra income, how much extra money we're getting in each month will be spent on consuming goods. And we work out our MPC by MPC, marginal propensity to consume, equals change in consum consumption divided by our change in income. That's what our triangle means there, our delta symbol, change in. So our MPC equals change in consumption, so how much extra we spend, divided by our change in income, so how much extra income we're getting. And this again represents a percentage number. So if this time it was 0 0.85, this represents that 85% of our extra income is being spent on consuming goods. Next, we move on to our APS, or our average propensity to save. And this is similar similar to our APC, but this shows how much we save this time, as opposed to how much we spend and consume. So our APS, average propensity to save, represents how much of total income will be saved in banks, rather than spent on goods. And again, we can work this out mathematically using the formula APS equals S divided by I. So APS, average propensity to save, equals S, the total amount of money we are saving, divided by I, income, the total amount of money we're getting in, in the form of income. And again, this represents a percentage. So if my APS number was 0 0.05, this would mean that 5% of my total income is being saved. And finally, we have the MPS, or marginal propensity to save. And this, again, is similar to MPC but is in terms of saving. So this is how much of our extra income we will save. And we work this out by the formula MPS equals change in S, change in savings, the change in the amount that we save, divided by change in income, so the change in the amount we get in every month. And again, this represents a percentage.